If I explain, we are hoping to have Mukchi uh, come to the centre about 2.30 and maybe just have some drinks and refreshments and then join us. So before Rumchi, we have about half an hour, it's two o'clock now. So Rumchi will come about 2.30 and I'm hoping that everyone will have their uh, katas and we can then receive Rumchi coming into the centre. And then Rumchi will get refreshed and then join us for the talk at three o'clock. Okay? So before we start our talk, I think it's important you've come all this way um, to put some time aside to get our headspace in the right place to maybe think about why we're here. Why have you made all this effort? to come all this distance, and what is it you want to gain out of this session, okay? So, that the session that goes here and here, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you, so as we start the session, I want discussions in groups of two or three, and I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you, what does Buddhism mean to me? I'm going to talk to you, what does Buddhism mean to me? And why are you here today? Um, okay, Kashe Pame, you see you, Kashe Susu, and the Chim would nearly deal with you, you can see you are on the delivery show, the council three, Kari, Chip, and the Karikin, the name hard to aim at the council pentorage. So I want this session to be helpful for all of you. So I want you to now have discussions about why you're here. You've all come from a long distance. So if you're ready to have the discussions, maybe just look to the people that are sitting next to you, front, behind, um, and just have those questions. Why should I practice? So, not just to pass on down like some responsibility, like but there's some benefit. Mm. What is the benefit to you? Um, okay, thank you. Maybe that group in the corner, back. Well, so yeah, we also had a similar um, sort of discussion uh, about sort of the Tibetan Buddhist and then doing the ritual aspects because we see our family doing it, but we don't really understand what it is, so, but then you meant like, I don't um, uh, explain some things to us today, um, and um, you realize how little you actually know, and then that's where we start to get more questions about actually, this is our religion, but you don't really know much about it, um, and um, I think it's really important that we try to understand what we're doing and not just do it, um, and actually that's how we get the actual benefits from the Buddhist Dharma. Uh, rather than just you know attending uh, all different events, um, I think um, a lot of religions are quite well. I'm generalising, but some of them are quite strict. You can't do this. You, you, there's only one god. There's only this. In Buddhism, it's a little bit more open. But I find a lot of people seem to come back to Buddhism, and people from other cultures come to Buddhism. So that to me suggests that there is really a benefit from practicing. And even with the other room, which is teaching the. Uh, other day about sort of the mind and the body and wants and needs, all of those things, logically they make a lot of sense, but actually at the times when you are struggling, when you're suffering, that's when um, maybe you just see a cloud and you can't think about those things, but it's through practicing and appreciating and thinking about these things that you will be able to sort of achieve that uh, balance and calmness in the mind. Mm -hmm. um, so we were talking about these kind of things. Yeah, that's really helpful. Thank you. Thank you. That's this uh, the group over there, Kando Tadre Chuni. Uh, is there any thoughts you want to share from the group? Yeah, 
So I want you to think about what emotion that you want to get some help with and what challenges you've had. And then if you can think of one or two questions, maybe jot them down or uh, if you want pen and paper, I've got some, but I'd like you to maybe then ask that at the end. It would be wonderful after she talks if maybe a few questions can come. We'll probably have not time for everyone, but maybe half of you, maybe about <coughs> Five to ten questions we would be easily able to fit in. So please, um, if you've got some questions, maybe um, now's the time to think about it. So, Tiwa Dandi, you know, can't do that. This come a chicken is now. Some of us, some of us, Tiwa Machi. This can't just so group now. Maybe group bread and a Tiwa chicken is you know, yeah. Yeah, so it's true. And a group bread and a Tiwa Nis chicken is. Can't do that. The come a chicken is the can't do Jundu Chita. Can't do Tiwa Karti is a super group now. Tiwa Karti is you. Machi Tiwa Chita. Okay. Yes. Ishkesamula, <laughs> Non <laughs> Teresa, Yandel Muche, Consort Chogi Xala, Salenangitu. Um, Terik, Rimuche, Manzo, the Corop, Samana on the Manzo Pecochis, Anni, uh, Rimuche, Colop, Unsunara, Kunakarinche. Twitchy, Twitchy. Shedinja. Ah, the Shedi, the Chagaser. The number chick. Tijindo, Samo Tonda, Ni. え、彼だ。そうだ、イモシェンだ。どんにかでちゃうっすろ。待ってね、ちゃう。てるよ。うん。だ、先に何度だ。ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Number so what I'm supposed, what Rinpoche is supposed to talk about today is, well, Buddhism in our daily life, how to apply uh, Buddhism on a daily basis or to usually how to apply it and how to face our emotions. So emotions such as fear, anxiety, attachment and having all sorts of thoughts, all sorts of disruptive thoughts like hopes and doubts and so forth. Now in the Buddhist scriptures you find the term um, negative emotion, another translation is delusion or affliction. Now this is a noun that comes up all the time, it's used a lot in the Buddhist context. And so here the translation I'm going to use is negative emotions as Rinpoche suggested. And in His Holiness's books and His Holiness the Dalai Lama's books, uh, he talks a lot about these negative emotions. There are great explanations on what they refer to, what they mean and so forth. And since all of you know English, those would be books uh, you might find helpful, you could read. For instance, uh, Beyond Religion, there's one very popular book by His Holiness called Beyond Religion, Ethics of a New or for a New Millennium, it's another book, and other books on compassion and so forth. So, so many different books that, that explain all these different concepts. And His Holiness also came to Oxford some years ago and gave some teachings there, so you can uh, read these teachings, you can watch um, the videos of these teachings. So anyway, Rinpoche said before he starts giving his own teaching, uh, that's something he wanted to mention first. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> ตะสังลุนางโลละยังเส้นชุ่มเดตินิงตัวสิบชุ่มจีตาตะเกยยงกายเฉตุซามาระเกยยงซามาระซังซังตินเดกิสิบชุ่มเดียอันนี้ติจ
Tatendeki kustubu yönetiye kare çekeriz. Kustubu yönetiye susu, susu di, susu da şincası var. Susu da susu dönde ala şincadan dila eşe o cihaya di çeli gedan, teşe şodan di. Ben eşe o cihaya ne eşe o di çeli demeci cihaya uçakir. Eşe o çeli cihaya uğurmadu, eşe o di beye mühe ne sütan mütün be, eşe o tedavayına. Ta digi susu gitüyen ta de şibu cipe geçin bu. Susu sanlı nalı da susu meci gitüyen ta madu medin gittin de. Susu gitüyen ta cipe susu sengi nalı o gen zambili di. Susu gitüyen ta cipe de çayın koru. De şibu cipe geçin bu çayın. Ta dilo tez ki migi çilağa yuvun di gandı. Susu gitüyen ta la tez ki pudun rey tez ki şey yuvun di. Ne be şibu cipe po çeşin de. Sen de. Arma tenin şey. De çayın koru. Sezan kondu şuya ki negatif emosyon tizugi ro tizugi kondo şuya ki lu nimbeji ki lu tizugi zavadi lu kustu bu diye görürüz kustu bu sana lu kustu bu la mambo yonc koro di nani kustu bu ki lu zav kustu bu ki lu çiğir seyi kustu bu ki lu di karıla yonc kanla susu dönda di zaten bu zıda şu sanlı nalo da susu dönda di şu çişü di ran kan kolaj kale kaz kolaj di di çiğir san अन सुसु टेंडा ला शिंचा चाहिए जो सुसु की टेंडा करना मैं सुसु टेंडा मिला हुआ काशे उन्हीं साहेब का काशे की बेख खरी है ना सुसु मिची बुसु है अन सु काशे यंग सुसु खरी सुगु गया ना सुसु से नाम लो ला दीजो आरो कहाँ से बोले पर्पल से गया मिची मिची आरो टेंडे चीज़ तो दी दी ला बेख शिंचा तो मासूम दी ला सेंस वो चा� now in our mind, what is it that makes us unhappy? Uh, that is responsible for us feeling anxiety, having all sorts of thoughts, feeling unhappy, feeling depressed, and possibly even discouraged. What is that? So the sense, I can't do anything, there's nothing I can do. So feeling really low about ourselves, possibly. So feeling self, like uh, having self-denigrating thoughts, having low self-esteem. Well, why do these thoughts, why do these negative emotions, why do they arise? Well, in the Buddhist scriptures, the root of these negative emotions is that we're too narrow-minded. Unless you have a better translation for Pusutobu, any suggestion? Narrow-minded? Narrow. Narrow-minded, right? Like, that's the word that can come. Yeah. Anyway, we're too narrow-minded. We're too narrow-minded in that we, we, see, we don't see the whole situation. We don't have a vast-minded kind of attitude that looks around and sees the whole picture. But we focus in, we narrow, we, we, our mind is kind of narrowed in the sense that we just focus on one aspect, one problem. So our mind just goes over and over again, uh, over and over, and is focused on that problem, obsessing over a particular situation. And so based on that, then we feel unhappy, there's anxiety, and so forth. We have too many thoughts sometimes just revolving around the same thing. But why are we so narrow-minded sometimes? Well, the reason is that we have attachment towards ourselves. We have too many expectations, too many expectations, in particular when it comes to what I can do, what I need to do, and so forth. And all this is too extreme. We have very extreme kind of emotions in certain situations when we're too narrow-minded. So what we need is to be more balanced. Our mind needs to be more balanced, less obsessive. Obsessive in the sense of just focusing on one aspect. So, Usually our thoughts revolve around our goals, what we want to achieve in life. Everything really revolves around that, but even more importantly, it revolves around ourselves. Our mind goes on and on about ourselves. And this leads to negative emotions. This is the root of negative emotions in the sense that this narrow-mindedness doesn't allow us to move away from that and get a wider perspective. So it's like everything is about me, uh, my goals, and so forth. And in certain situations, we consider ourselves to be more precious 
than anyone else. More important, a sense I'm more important. And we want certain things for ourselves, to make more money, become famous. Uh, so a certain purpose, we, we search for a certain purpose in our life. And it's this attachment towards ourselves, towards our own well-being, which leads to us not being able to let go. Certain situations we can't let go, and it's too extreme. So this kind of attitude of narrow-mindedness, attachment and so forth, these are extreme types of mind. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Susun 新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的新的团队的
simbol ini jawab ujian yang mahu tuai na, mewu mewu di susu lagu be mewu di kandai susu orang na simbol ini jawab ujian susu ni nyuba susu ciri tang, yang di susu ciri tang, lega susu ciri tang, cubu mahu tuai tang, ni jawab muda muda baru ni jawab di zaman tuai tang, tinggal itu tuai orang orang, mewu orang yang jual kerja sana, mewu orang yang jual di tanah susu di zaman ni, so susu yang di susu lega ciri di Nyuba cuma ya suci cerdung ya, en tubuh ki nyuba, rubuh ki nyuba, en dah nasi ki cik nami ki jauhjur, misin dah ki jauhjur. Di sana lah di ni mungkin dua orang mahu, sana ni nampol lah emosi ni, negatif emosi mampu cik 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 mungkin kerja kerja dua orang, kerja dua orang macam ni. Tapi tu ni sih kerja susun nyuba cakar es, lo, esok tu di dua macam dia cik, ngah di gugur se, macam ngah mati macam tu di mana se, senyum tu ya, um. Dengan ayah lantai esok, tiga susu ki, nangju ki nyuba di cung tang kere, nangju ki nyuba cung tang, sama sekali nangju mungkin sugar di, lo, jadi ni ni kal sugar sana, um, mula ni cung ki, la, mui di ruya ki, thala mampu nyuba di, tung tung mana, lu kus tu bukan yang di kala. So when we have a goal, so when we think about the goals we like to reach, that we like to, the, the goals we like to fulfill, um, so there's a sense, I will do this, I have this plan, I have this, this is what I have planned, this is what I want to do, this is what I need to do. Now, first of all, of course, it's good to have a goal, it's good to have a plan for the future. Um, it should be something uh, that is of benefit to myself, but also to others. So for both, ideally, if it benefits myself and others, that's definitely a, a good goal. So something that is beneficial, in other words. Um, and then also, uh, what's important is that that goal does not require me to sacrifice the well-being of others. So it should not be at the expense of others that I try to reach that goal. But instead, it should be something that is in accordance with reality, something that's realistic that is in accordance uh, with the way things are. I need a goal, Vibhuti says. It's important we need a goal. We need some kind of plan for the future. But whatever that is, uh, it's important to check, is it realistic with regard to myself, my family, my country, and so forth. So just saying, oh, this is good, and developing some kind of desire, like an extreme desire, that is a problem because desire, this kind of desire, uh, remember to use the word ducha, so this kind of afflicted desire as it's sometimes described, is an extreme mind. It sees the positive qualities of something and exaggerates that positive aspect. It exaggerates the positiveness or the advantages of that phenomenon and is then not able to let go. It's kind of, it gets obsessed with that particular object. So there's a sense, I'm not able to do anything else. We can't see anything else any longer if we're obsessed with one factor, so when we have that kind of desire. But in Buddhism, that is a negative emotion, that's a harmful emotion. It's good to have a goal, uh, but we need to know realistically, can we achieve it or not? What are the circumstances? What is needed? So if I reach that goal, great, but if not, to also have kind of a backup plan in that sense. It's okay if it doesn't help, if it doesn't, if it don't reach it, but also get a sense, what are its advantages? Advantages as well as disadvantages. So to have a realistic sense, look at it from all sides and, and check, what is it that I can do? Do I have the ability to really reach such a goal? Is it realistic? And when I find that it is, when I look at it with that kind of rational mind, well, then I can go for it. I can make an effort. Rinpoche said, like I can become active. I can make an effort uh, towards reaching such a goal. But what's important is uh, to be aware of these emotions, these negative types of emotions. Um, to get a sense, yes, I need this, okay, but if it's too obsessive, then what happens is, well, someone, if someone criti criticizes us and tells us, oh, that's not a good goal, we may get angry, we may get upset. So we react in a very strong, negative way. Thus, thus, these negative emotions, they're extreme kinds of mind. And what happens is when they arise, 
when this obsessiveness, this attachment and, and desire arise, our mind can no longer be calm. It's no longer peaceful, it's no longer relaxed, but it's disturbed. We need to be realistic in the sense that we need to check do we have the ability to reach something. And if we don't have the ability right now, well, make improvements, enhance our ability uh, by way of working hard, uh, allowing, uh, helping, seeking, seeking the support of our friends, our family, and so forth. We need to make an effort to uh, generate the causes and conditions for a certain result. So in order to have a result, to have a certain goal, we need to accumulate the causes and conditions that make it happen with our own positive qualities, by making an effort, um, asking our friends to help us, using our friends' abilities, our family support, and so forth. But negative emotions, we can't get our goal. Our negative emotions hinder our mind. They're an obstacle to our mind to think clearly, to use our intelligence, and in that way to uh, be able to, to reach that goal. So the problem is really that it slows down our ability. Negative emotions take away the, the strength of our mind and instead we become too distracted. And also what's important, very important, Rinpoche says, is to check whether our goal or, or, or our plan is in accordance with reality, that whatever we wish is actually in accordance with reality. That's really important. Mm. <coughs> え、心不穷、穷的，你得用一下去，呃，洗的、做的，对下去过来。但心不穷的，你，心做几点空住去过来。但空住的，对下是那卡的，得看得是用过来的，得，呃，但我做起不难过来。Now, when we have these disruptive thoughts, these negative emotions that lead to disruptive thoughts. Uh, they naturally make us unhappy. They're responsible for us feeling miserable, not feeling good about ourselves and so forth. They have a lot of disadvantages. But where do they come from? Where do these negative thoughts come from? Well, they come from desire. And they come from anger, desire and anger. So there are certain negative emotions that lead to unhappiness. But now what we need to investigate is where do these come from? Where does this desire come from, this extreme emotion of desire, this extreme emotion of anger? Where do they come from? That needs to be investigated. Mm. Mm. So,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个,这个
原定一切算了起码都可以转一切算了呀那都下马推的可以转一切算了呀那都下马推的可以转一切算了呀那都下马推的可以转一切算了呀那都下马推的可以转一切算了呀那都下马推的可以转一切算了呀那都下马推的可
But when there is this kind of extreme desire, this kind of afflicted desire, what happens is we no longer see any negative aspects. We only see the advantage. We become totally focused on just the positive aspects. We don't see any fold any longer. So with any object of desire, that's what happens. There's a sense, there's no fault, it's 100% good, it's better than that, and I need it, I don't want to be separated from that. So we try, to, we try to get the object, we try to possess the object, and have a sense that will truly make me happy if I could just get that object. My life will be okay if I just got that. So there's this, this sense, like in our mind, this is what really ginds me happiness. So this is how desire works, Rinpoche says. It's an extreme mind. It's not in accordance with reality. Um, there's a sense, if I don't have that, I cannot be successful. Without this object, I can't do anything. So let's say, for instance, you want money. A billion dollars, a lot of money. So when we first get this money, we may think, oh, now I'm okay. Now I'm going to be all right. However, there's actually no guarantee that this money will bring us what we're looking for. First of all, because, well, it may, go, be, may be gone after a month. So after a month, since it's impermanent, it may be gone. But not just that. Uh, there's no guarantee that we find what we're looking for, even if we have all this money. There's no guarantee that it really helps us. But the problem is our extreme desire, this afflicted desire, we put all our hope, because of that mind, we put all our hopes in the object of our desire. We believe this is exactly, this, this is all that is important in my life. So all our hopes are put in that, all our hopes are focused on that particular object. And when the object is gone, all our hope is gone. We feel hopeless. And so, therefore, it's so important to investigate to investigate the situation of what's going on, what we're so obsessed with, and to not just focus on that. Because when we do with this afflictive desire, this afflictive desire, it suggests to us that this object is more beneficial than it actually is. The mind exaggerates. It's this exaggerating mind that suggests to us that this is greater than it actually is. The object is greater than it is more beautiful than it actually is, more beneficial than it actually is, and it makes us happier than it actually does. That's what our desire suggests to us. So in that way, our mind becomes obsessed, and therefore it's important to become aware of these types of emotions. Hmm. <coughs> Sen shumbati kande shungori slow dingal tagi ta chu si le song xie zhang de xia qi se yu di la ri wo cha zhang xia yun di gang la ta mu bu ji gang la yu ji gang la ri wo cha zhang xia ba ro di xi bu ji ce le ge wo ce le ge ya wo di jong na su su be de zhen zhu yu de de ji tong nian de xia qi de wo ro de xia yu lu ka su xiu qi le wo yin na yu di la su su di gang la ri wo xia de xiu qi yun ri ri wo cang ma di gang xia ya ma zu cang zhe ge xie di gang la yun gu duo ni ri wo cang ma え、そうそう、僕が喋ってるんですね。ね、ジョーさんは、他看不看的聚社ですね。ね、ジョーさんは、他看不看的聚社ですね。ね、ジョーさんは、他看不看的聚社ですね。ね、ジョーさんは、他
ex extreme aspects. Therefore, uh, as, long, as, as soon as we have this kind of desire, and the stronger we have this desire, the more we place our, hope, our hopes in the object of this desire. Whatever we desire, all our hope is directed at that. So it may be an object, it may be a person, it may be a situation, whatever it is. There's an extreme kind of mind that now uh, obsesses over it. It's totally focused on that. And again, the stronger it is, the stronger our hope, uh, the stronger our expectations, basically. We have very strong expectations when it comes to the object. So we have great expectations. For instance, we say, I have all my hopes, all my expectations are with my child. Or all my expectations are with my house, I mean all my hope. So we totally focus on that object, our child or our, our house and so forth. And in that way, if the object, so from the point of view of our emotion in that, in that situation, so our mind getting so obsessed, uh, which is actually, in that case, we're not actually in accordance with reality, or our mind is not in accordance with reality, but since all our expect expectations are, are directed at that object, when the object is gone, we lose hope. We totally lose hope. There's a sense, no hope left in my life. And we lose our trust we become discouraged, we become depressed. So this kind of sense of discouragement, this sense of losing hope, it comes from this particular type of mind. Mm -hmm. <coughs> だ、こだ now, the function of the mind of desire is very similar to anger. Anger is similar in that sense. It's also an extreme mind. It exaggerates exaggerate what's actually there in the sense that it perceives an object, this time the object of our anger, in a way that does not accord with reality. So for instance, we see an object, we get angry with someone. But before anger arises, we first exaggerate the negativity of that object, before we actually get angry. So Rimchi used a, a technical term, like a, a, a term, it's like Tsumiji Namta, which kind of means an inappropriate attitude to literally translate it, but sometimes it's translated as just an exaggerating mind. So before the emotion of anger arises, first we observe a situation, observe a person, watch a person, and then there's a sense, this person is so bad. So this, on top of the negative aspect, we see this person is totally bad, always bad. In their nature, <clears throat> the whole nature bad, it's just negative. And based on that extreme sense that this is totally, the person is 100% negative, then anger arises. So it's based on that exaggeration again, and then a negative emotion such as anger uh, arises. So therefore, there's a sense that this person is so obnoxious. It's beyond thought, it's beyond apprehension. Such a strong sense. And Actually, actually seeing someone like that, seeing someone that's totally negative and bad and obnoxious, it's impossible. No one is like that. But to our mind, this person has these negative qualities and that's why we get angry. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Tiri, 
呃，听这个人家介绍，有一大部分介绍什么呢？有一点的，看对呢，是是从这介绍的，所以说，所以我们的第二要么呢，有一点没大别让心事，没大别让心事，是吧？但是，有的给你的话题了，没听呢，呃
这个是我讲的 Now, again, it's, we have to check reality. What is realistic? Uh, how do things exist in reality? So, in our mind, they, it, it, may, it may happen that we have a sense, well, if I get this object, this object of my desire, then I'll be protected from this, I'll be, I'll be fine, I'll be, everything will be okay. Which again is not realistic. And also if we have an object of desire, well we have to work towards it. If there's something we wish to attain, we have to make an effort. It's not enough to be obsessive about I want to become this great scholar, but not accumulate the causes and conditions for that. So just to wish for it to happen, it's not going to happen. We have to work hard to achieve certain goals. So in reality, the harder we work, the greater the result. It's just the way it is. So just wishing for something without, without working towards accumulating the causes and conditions is not going to help. So if you make a tenfold effort, you get a tenfold result. But if you make a tenfold effort, don't expect to get a hundredfold result. It's just not realistic. And if you study, for instance, for five hours, well, the result that you will get will be in accordance with these five hours. If you add another hour, well, then you get the result of six hours. So it's always to do with the causes and conditions. Everything we, we reach, we can only reach whatever result we want to reach. It's always in accordance with the causes and conditions we accumulate. It's only in accordance with that. So why worry? We don't need to worry. If we make the work, if we do the work, we'll get the result. So instead of being very worried about what I can reach or not. We should be realistic and if we're not worried we can take a rest when it's necessary. Physically it helps us to recover from all the hard work we do and once we've rested a little bit we're ready to continue with our work. Uh,以前没有办法,但他那心给,呃,苏苏给毛毛了,呃,这个用马来西亚上新的熊的列的中国,他的列了,那是几处用过的卡的几处的是那几处的还想给他来一个。那是几处的那路了,呃,卡对应
这次提议拿到了之后，拉开当什么兄弟的，跟跟民众的主要，加些加平度要的，上帝的讲了，那时候咱们这次拿到第二的讲了，现在改变了，特别是这次拿到了，怕是说今个刚刚才的讲了，别
where um, when someone has problems, people help each other. There is a certain degree of taking responsibility, of supporting one another, of being there uh, for each other. It's just like in the nature of the kind of Tibetan communities. So it's a kind of attitude of wanting to help each other to a certain degree. And there are different ways to do this, maybe through material means, uh, helping someone financially, uh, helping them through love and understanding, spending time with them, getting together with them, and consoling them if they have a problem, listening to them. And that is much, much more precious than just giving money. So to help, of course, financially, but even more important is to spend time, to spend time with people, because uh, money is often not enough to be there for them, to support them, to show them your love. And this is different to Tibetan, to ordinary Western societies, ordinary foreign uh, societies, English society, for instance. So Tibetan communities, they are, there's, that's what's so special about the Tibetan community, that they're different in that people do take responsibility, help each other, carry each other's burden in that way, and give hope, give hope to others. So give love by way of giving love and support in such a way. But anyway, to talk about these negative emotions, such as feeling discouraged, where does that come from? That sense of, I have no hope, feeling depressed and discouraged. Actually, there's no need, there's no actual reason to feel discouraged, to feel hopeless, to feel depressed. But what happens, or what is, what is it a result of? The res how does it come about? It's because we always focus on what we don't have. I don't have this, I don't have that. I didn't achieve this, I didn't achieve that. It's a matter of attitude where we're too focused on the not have. We're too focused on what we haven't achieved. I can't do this, etc. We're obsessive about the negative aspects. But everyone is like that. Everyone is missing something. Everyone is lacking something. And it's just a matter of choosing to obsess about it or not. Even the most powerful king, who's got lots of mother, money and so forth, like a, a powerful politician and so forth, well, they don't have everything. If they have a lot, there's usually someone who has more. Um, people who have more money, more millions of, of pounds and so forth. So there's always something they don't have. And even though they control the whole world, well, then this person doesn't listen to them and another person doesn't listen to them. So in a sense, they also always something, there's always something miss, missing. Oh, my parents are not doing this, my father's not doing that, and so forth. So there are all these uh, other people who actually experience the same. Certain things they can't do, certain things they don't have. Therefore, we shouldn't be too obsessed with just what's missing, the not-haves. That is a problem if we do this. Instead, we should focus on what we do have, on the haves. So what do we have? What do we, we have friends, we, ha, we have a family, we have friends, we have a house, we have educational, we have at least there's a place where we receive an education. Um, we are healthy to a certain degree, we can wash dishes, we can do certain things, we can be active. And then I lost Rinpoche in the whole list. <laughs> but you heard so much that we have, right? So Rinpoche gave many different examples that we can focus on in terms of positive aspects of our life. <coughs> <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
pe din de demba gabun ane mitindi ceeji yungyore ta mitici nanlo la tinde jebu ka majuma ina ya sinju chai me karsna mitindi lo huta ba zambu jene pe yaro dan xin le nyoba ma che che ro ranjin samo le pemba de tinde gi mitzi zantru chi o chungwe ina chi o shima di tinde ya wa chungure ro men tinde ya lu se parsi jene tur tur dan ji ci shima ta da mi mi guban da bisto en ti gan la ya tu ci jene pe dunia ta da le ta ye ka sa na zu chi shi be ka do le ci chungwe na shi sen gi gan gi chima samo pa ta sa su na nyomo be chuan samo ta sa su na guban mi se jine le yor se ta be shin gan su na Marun tabe kuban se jinga su kasan shu yoro kan de dunya tada le tai tinde kuban do ya en sinji tangje le pembe sanje ji kuban do ya tinje ki tun ke chi bu ji ke chi bu ji di cero ni cero ma bu ji ni jungu di kan la mi ji ji le ka jan ha de ka de chung ma ji di chun jung shu ji da ta ku san lu dong ni me ngi su de cha du go da di ji ji sin shu cha ju sin yo ma de kan dun da le chi bu di Cero mambi juni cheri ti che di susu gi huta bata cheni ndre che taran ti tsang huta bata cheni ndre che tuwe na ti tsang chi ndi di horta ro nde bu kari chong ma ju se di <hesitation> ti chi guo ma re <hesitation> sang ti gang la shi bu chi <hesitation> ri wot ma ta gi shi wana shi te che chi ri wot chi bu ti ne ti gang la shi agu ma re che tsang chu ndre tang che wai na wot ti ri chu ba sin shu cha ai mi chu ba che din di ka di na sin shong ai yo ma re shong ai mi bi ju sin ti ri. So it's all a matter of attitude. It's all dependent. So everything from which you said, it's really just a matter of our own thoughts. It connects to our own thoughts. Um, now, from a Buddhist point of view, according to the Buddhist scriptures, there's really no reason to feel upset, to feel discouraged, to feel unhappy. There's no reason. Whatever problems we may have in just this lifetime, well, when we consider the fact that we've lived so many lives and we're going to live so many lives this life is pretty insignificant as, as compared to like time it's just like a second it's like a second in terms of the whole kind of time we spent in different existences so therefore why would we get upset about a second just from the you know seeing the whole perspective or looking at it from the point of view of past and future lives therefore Um, there, we have lived it for so many lives and this life is pretty insignificant. But also, um, the point is, whatever we do right now is in our own hand. It's in our own hand. We can control what we're doing right now. What is going to happen in the future is not really in our own hand because it's not just <coughs> dependent on what we do right now. Well, it's dependent on other factors such as the time, the environment we're in, the politics and so forth. However, the point is that we can do so much right now. There's so much we can do right now. We should give our best. We should do the best we can do and happily do so. Happily do the best we can do right now. And be kind, to be kind, to be a kind person, to be a friendly and kind person, not to harm others, but benefit others, to benefit others. And then if we live such a life, then we will definitely, the things will definitely get better. There's no other way than that they get better. In a future life, we may have a positive rebirth as a celestial being, as a human being, and so forth. And in fact, what is possible is that with a certain attitude, a beneficial attitude, a virtuous attitude, we can actually overcome all our faults. We can overcome, we can remove, eliminate, all our negative emotions and in that way overcome any type of problem, any kind of suffering. So that state of liberation is possible. We can reach a state that is free from any kind of problem. It's possible with our mind. And it then, uh, on top of that, we focus on the well-being of all other sentient beings, make that a priority. All sentient beings, we can actually uh, achieve, we can actualize our fullest potential in the form of Buddhahood. Therefore, there's no reason to feel discouraged. There's so much we can do. There's so many possibilities. And in that way, we should work not just for this life, but for many lives to come, for the future, for this long future that is ahead of us. 
and not be obsessed about little things that go wrong in this life, not to be obsessed in such a way, but have a, a long-term kind of perspective. And someone who practices the Dharma, they don't have that added. They don't have any worries. They happily do whatever they can do, and they don't feel discouraged. Mm. Uh, so we leave it at that. Rinpoche will leave his explanation at that. So now, please, if you've got any questions, you're welcome to ask. We have um, some few members joining on Zoom. So if you have any questions on Zoom, you can put um, raise the yellow hand or type questions in the text um, chat box um, <coughs> here in Gumba. If we have any questions, um, I'll bring the microphone to you. I know you had uh, lovely discussions earlier to Who? Who? Uh, um, the, the forgiveness, the understanding of the mission 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 the mission the mission of 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 the the mission of the 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 Mission that the forgiveness, the understanding, can is sure. How could you? Don't you need to translate that, right? No. No, no, no need to translate. No. Okay. Oh, that did it. Susula, mission lagi, to me, get traduci, and shaking the new thing is living in it. New thing living in it. Susugi, Mune, Karachi, Sedin Langati le yone juba juga le na ani forgiveness di juba gungi eski jine shuda sla na di digo ma di nojuri ro di juba gungi eki jenda di zani ma juba gungi eki jenda di simba matu sedri juba sedi sin chu oro simba matu bachi eskori kundu na yu di simba mimba na shi di cha yu su su sin ma ji bachi yu di ma ji eskoro ta di yu di gong la kui ki cha jue ma rong wa di mui si la ni ta yong na mui si la ni le ダナ、ジャジュエティラドンニチゴレ。え、ダナディ、え、ディ、うん、パバラギシジャベナンロラセブソンヨル、ジャオラドンニチエティ。ロ、トウェンニモダシニモダンディカンサミシ。ジャオ
Kuitsu Chadusa Kundutemain, Susu Chegue, Tata Chichini, Susu Yajeshu Chichitamina, Tati Kula Nue Chishudan, Kula Yali, Nanshidu Utrita, Susu Sedin Chedi, Susu Nuevajani Mitisula Yali, Nanshidu Utrita. Say which has Now, with regard to the situation that's just been described, uh, in terms of so when another person uh, gets angry with ourselves, so we do something and without any reason, <clears throat> they become, um, they, they harm us, like they, they act in a way that is not appropriate, maybe in an unreasonable way, 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 like getting jealous and so forth and starting to harm us. Well, in such a situation, it's not that we shouldn't react. If someone harms us, we need to do something. We need to possibly avoid the harm. For instance, if someone walks towards you on the street with a, with a stick and, and wants to hit you over the head, you're not going to hold your head and, and, you know, and allow them to, to beat you. You will avoid, you try to avoid this harm. It's more about a mental attitude. It's a mental attitude uh, in that you, you apply patience. Patience is an antidote to be getting angry because anger just harms our mind. It disturbs our mind, it, it disrupts us. So to avoid that kind of uh, disruptive state of mind, we practice patience. But it doesn't mean we allow a person to go wild and harm other people. So it's important to face that and, and do something in, in such a situation to possibly avoid the harm, to react in an appropriate and balanced way. That is, from she says, is important. Um, so therefore, dependent on the time, dependent on the environment and so forth, um, we need to check what is appropriate, what is an appropriate reaction here. And in that way, if someone harms us, we respond, it should be, the response should be balanced. It should be in accordance with reality, looking at all aspects. However, when someone uh, is jealous towards us, has envy, is envious of us, is competitive with regard to our own behavior. I mean, they feel competitive towards us. Um, so in such a situation, that is a mental state that they have. Now, what is the situation then? What, is, what happens there? What is it that I need to do? Well, actually, we should continue with what we're doing. We should uh, continuously do the right thing in that, well, if we act in a positive way, Whatever their emotions are, they're jealous or not jealous, envious or not, basically that's their mind. But in my mind, I need to continue with the positive work that I've been doing early on and not be distracted by that. In the sense that it may actually happen that they recognize uh, their wrong behavior, their wrong attitude towards you. And they may even apologize once they see that they've gone in the wrong direction with that kind of attitude, that kind of jealousy and so forth. So, we shouldn't get angry. If we get angry in that moment, then that which they wanted to achieve, they achieve. But in order for that not to come true, not for any harm, for, for no one to be harmed in that moment, it's important that we keep patience, we keep calm, and that actually solves the problem. Okay. Is Okay, so um, what would you recommend as um, a practice or any advice to keep um, a healthy mind, for example? Because keeping like, it's not really um, easy to do. So what would you kind of recommend to help um, everyone in general to like keep a balanced mind or like thoughts? Simbuchi <laughs> Munichinero, 
Dagi kondu suya ki Sağın dağında kanla Simbol hölye suya da cibu suya da Nüye tanbı da da Susu kaçın sizi çeytu gireyiz Susu çeytu ba da Huda ba da sizi Lajon yinleri Lega yinleri Kaçın çeytu ba da 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 sizi Dizang re da Ro Da dine gene Sengi nalu la Susu ki nimacı nalu la Lega çizü Son mantı çeytu gireyiz Suhu gangeng tuğun Suhu gangeng tuğun ये चीजें छू चेत हुम तो दुई चेत हुम तो सी जिने सेन आलो तो टू में तो सी सिंचे चेते ना ती सिंचे दी मुझे नहीं चुदा में चांबे सिंचे ची ती गुए में देंगे ची ना ती सुसु 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 ला सुसु की दुबु ताएगी गुए में एक सांग चीज था पेंटो में तोंग सांग चीज पेंटो में घासों दोस दे देने ओ ने अंगा माजाम बच Dikiri di ngayar hagu mendo siya sinde chen di di karla wada di sunde chen nere da susu naal dede ngah chie jang jang mi ngah ma jang ba chen shi le chen naal dede ni ni pi chen di dikiri di ngayar naal chie ga yung mendo di kari ina di chie ga yung mendo di sinde chen na di di sinde di yu chang ba rebe gu be sinde rebe me gu be sinde rebe kari re do di me gu be sinde chen da ni sang lo gu stu bu sinde chen da shi me be sinde chen da sinde tong ba chen res. ti guhebi, ti guhebi mendo, sani pindo mendo. Ta susu yung mune chi, san tan yu de o, ngayin dinne chi che tu gudu, ti che, tarang chi. Ti le pa ben jebo chi tuyan yin bare, cha 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 re. Shin ta, kare yin na yin, ta ti le pe kala shin bu se, lu ze, ro, isa sa isa nra bu chi, en ta na shin chang chang da chi, ni ji bu ne, ji bu re, tarang ti ji bu re, san shi, ti chen ba yin na, ro, ti mwe ne chui, mwe ne chui lo tinde chi re, ti chen tu na, ding ding ping re, ro, ka chui che tu gudu ngay chi, Dile tabi sinda susu ki kantro laba nanlu la me dengi te di laba na yungu mindu susu kantro che tuye ki nanlu yungu mindu san che jine san tong de di tong ba reis san tong ba reis o di san tong ba yima di si ba che wukudu so di ding ding pindu yu di jire ni ne di jun du simbol hulu cha se di simbol hulu ma cha di karik che gudu di yang mun zing uor di jiran sen nanlu la ngandra yungu duye shumba yungu duye Yang simbol hulu macam ni, cerang la kare. Sintai misi cintu be, kat ting ting gunsi ni ada ro. Simbol hulu macam ni, cibu macam ni, cint ting cik itu sana ting gunsi. Ting gunsi ni ni, ta sintai orang ni ni, kari tuan dah sintai cik itu sana. Mau balang aji cakum tu, ni cakum tu, pala ciri, ni amala ciri itu tu, ti sintai ribe kari je. Ni pala ciri tu sintai ciri tu ni ni, pama ciri tu ni ni, oh pama kari je itu. Paman nyusi tak agam itu sendiri yang boleh nyusi tak agi sih itu kerja sih itu membalik kerja sih mungkin apa pun, an pun yang boleh ni paman lah jauh tujuh minit mana cari cari apa tu, susu ki paman nasi tak agi sih itu kerja ceju ya pada ceju pada cari cari sih, ni cari cari that's all, ni cari cari, tu yang ini kita cik aje sih orang tu jangan, tu dia ni lama cek buat macam ni, an sendiri ni sendiri cek buat ni paman lah nyusi dia tanda. Pian pasha, kalau sana, paman nadi gore, dengi pesen reda. Kesi paman nasi cakap mudah sana sendiri dia na, tadi cibar roti pah pesen sini dah tu pah jibul orang dia gore. Paman nasi cakap mudah pugi, nasi cakap ikhlas dia cie gue dia cie cie, tada maci dia sendiri cie dia na. Ani pugu susu ke simba maci, susu di dalam dia baca. Am paman ke pugu tuan yang dengan la, koran nawa kasi la susu pugu yang simba nasi yang baca, susu nasi yang baca tuan yang dengan la. Paman tandon yang pas sendiri ciri cie. Nasa duri cing cing cing, tuan la paman la nyuba cie ada cie bercakap duri. Tapi di di sang tong tang di sini dah la pak, eh kasih duri. Sang tong tang di pak kapu cie cing cing, sang tong tang ting ting pinggir cing. Nasi. When it comes to developing such a happy and balanced mind that you talked about, now first of all, it's actually natural. That should be the natural state. To be happy and calm and in a balanced way, we it, we need to have such a mind, and we can have such a mind. So we need to actually rephrase the question: What can we do? What can we do to overcome the opposite, that which makes us unhappy? Um, what makes what like an unbalanced kind of state of mind? How can we overcome that? But well, Rinpoche says uh, there's really no reason to be unhappy. We need to recognize that there's no reason that there's no need for us to be happy. Remember she talked about it before. It's so important to be calm and relaxed in that 
we need to see our own limits, become aware of our own limits, and our own abilities. So what can I do? What is it that I can do realistically when it comes to studying, when it comes to working? So to be realistic, to, to give an example, if I can work for three hours every day, well then, that's what I do. If I can't do more than that, because physically it may harm me, it may exhaust me and so forth, well why worry about not being able to work for six or seven hours? I can't help it. That's, that's the way it is. So we need to be therefore realistic as to our limitations and our uh, abilities, and there's no need to then worry about something that is not possible <coughs> anyway. So, Rinpoche said it again, there is just no need uh, th for the self-torture, basically torturing yourself, uh, creating more suffering for yourself. Um, that is kind of like saying, well, I want to be a PhD, but I'm not going to study for it. Expecting someone to carry, to bring the PhD into your house uh, without ever having studied for it. You know, to, to expect a result when the causes and conditions are just not there. So in that sense, uh, it's a stupid expectations if you like. I mean, that's one way of putting it. Or it's something that is unnecessary. It's not necessary. It's not beneficial, uh, that kind of attitude. So to know I can do this, I can do that, and know again, what I can do to then eventually have a certain result. And then also when it's time to, to, to do some exercise, take a walk and sleep and, you know, relax and so forth when the time has come for that. And do as much as you can. That's important, to do as much as we actually can. So this, this, this mind, this, this mind that is obsessive and is always worried about this, that and the other, it's useless. It's useless, it doesn't bring anything. And so, or it doesn't have any benefit. Also, Rubich is on top of that, it's very important to check, to investigate. What is my problem? What is my mental, uh, what is it that mentally destro destroys, my, destroys my calm, <clears throat> my, my balanced state, my happiness? Is it fear? Is it feeling discouraged? Is it worry? What exactly is the state of mind that I want to overcome here and investigate? And where does it come from? Why do I feel worried? Why do I feel fearful, anxiety and so forth? To really uh, check out, to, to, to find out what are the causes. And then, uh, for instance, she gave the example, well, if you're worried, for example, you're worried about something. What is the worry? Well, the worry is my parents. I'm worried about my father and my mother. Why? Because they're not well. They're ill. Now, if that's the case, in that moment, we should check, what is it I can do in that situation? How can I help them? Well, maybe I take them to, to the doctor and get them some medicine and give them my love, my support. All that I can to make them feel better, I do. But that's all. There's also a limit. Remember she used this expression. That's all. I need to understand that much I can do and I can't do anything more. And so, being aware that there are certain things that we can do, but why worry then if we have limitations? It doesn't help, can't do anything more, so what's the point in worrying? So this is just an example. We can apply this example to any other situation. But what's important is, if we start worrying in a situation like that, I can't do anything more, but we get upset and we start worrying, we're actually harming our parents. Because they observe us, observe us on top of their illness, which is already cause of worry. And then if it upsets us, then they may feel upset and guilty that now you as their child are worrying about them. And it just creates extra problems. Right? So in that sense, it's important to consider the way Rinpoche just explained it, to, to act in the way Rinpoche just explained. Think along these lines. Mm. Yet,你要读了。嗯,学,学习读。呃,但,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,就,
gore, rang le gore, shin le gore, rang shin tsang ma nian tang ji ba yin ba, ro tsang ma du ji bu dang, ya bu du kin cha ta yin ba, di yi si tang nung ki lu sun de di ro, di jang gu ya. Nen di yi to ne, rang shin tsang ma diwa ndiwa dunge mi diwa ji ji yin ba sang ma, tsang ma la diwa dro ya da dunge si ya ki to tang ji, ji ba ji jang yu wa da, ji ba ji jang yu wa da, di yi si gu ya, rang la gu ke gu ba nang shi, shin la gu ke gu yu ba, di ji ba yin ba, ro, nen di, Kuka jiju ki tu ni guba kangshi ji la ka tsu chung ma jung se di ta ki lao na shi ya ngui ne tsu su su ki leba ki chu tsu di ka tsu tsu yue me lao jung ka tsu tsu di su la ra le ki lo ta ju ka tsu tsu che wai na di la ba wen je ba chung yu di ji ji en di ga ni lo <hesitation> pena kampeshe ni ji ki jung da di ni lo shen ki dunge ma bu san ta yu di ga la shen ki dunge san ta ni ka che go lo chu me ji san san ching ki di di ki Jau lu ni kara pin yung gor sana ra ni ji jung dar che de di simba ja chir tang yung gore shin ki dunge mang bu chi ya sang tang ni aka kula dunge ti ku tiam <hesitation> dunge ti da che ru che na sang be sang lu zang bu di yang yang che du ya gong yung di gang la su su dunge di chun jung cho yung gore ro su su le chi yu gang ye yu di ki ta su su zang ma se pe mi sa ya mang bu dung shi mang bu la gang ye ti ndu su la yu di gang la au ti ta su su gang ye di Ti ti tsu na lu ki cha xie xi ba xi chun yong xi ba tsu yong ba ri, ti ki xi bu ping yong ba ri, sang lu na ju ku tsu tu cha bu cha de di xu ma, tsu liu ri cha yong ba ti yi zang ni ji jong da xi ya, ro xiang ju ki xi yong ba ro ni ji jong da xi ya, en ti da nyang du la ji gong yang tu tsu jia tu wen, gong jia di nang be chu ki ti wo yu na me na su ri ti zi zi wo ma da, yi na nang be chu na lu gong jia me ta me ba ri, gong jia gu wo ri ka ju na gu wo ri, yi na gong ki na lu nang ra ma bu ri ti na ni ta. Sensi ji be tingi zi gong ti si wor ti <hesitation> gu wor ti ti ji ji ni du si ni ma ji ji la si ma tui lu ji ro ma tui lu sha ani u la mi ni gong ji ai du si u ra la ti si sen ki tang ka zi ji ji ni si du si di si ma na lu la ma ji gu ji na <hesitation> na du na cha ma ta si bu ji ai di ni ke ri ma du si <hesitation> ka su na me zi me la tang ji ku sa ku yi ji si ma du ji ji ni。乌了米尼公家用的干了呀，上了南路南都忙不进用的生出的过了，出夜的嘛去扒了，嘛乱乱的下，去都是有点的，有点的嘛又不去扒，困多下下的，去嘛听家呢，去给干了的开的，去牛嘛的做，去南路牛嘛的做嘛家呢，去咱们的做田园去做地算那些，去什么生出的就嘛家呢，日系嘛家呢，去了抢的，听这一公干嘛新安家呀？呀，整把电影给切的三难路了，是比较给难点人的，上街给过人的，看人的去，一路整把地上干了三幺五节，整把的时间，没把整把些，修三修路了，中多么的，但是修路了中的杨树，看我呢没把干下，这个公交，电影这个牛不起的，当然整把了平给的，老用了平给的，三百六六千了平给的，这样，这样工工资点起起呢，你们去公交哪上用过的？伊那讲党部决定也不讲了，退了差不多错过了。你讲党部决定呢，生第二次退休的时候就签了，第第错过了。先生，听这个讲，讲点钱呀？你你就请不给讲点钱呀？是吧？呃，他那些个南北大洲的南路了，电竞这样讲话是，电竞的大洲的讲点钱多呢，上路过洋路也不拼多少了。那是。Also, when it comes to a balanced and relaxed kind of mind, well, there are certain trainings we can do. Mind training. We can train the mind to reach these states. But to do that, it's important to understand what is reality and, like, in every situation, what's realistic, and to investigate. That is very helpful, very, very beneficial, and very necessary. We need a, a type of mind. Uh, like a, t an, we need to understand. We need to generate a type of mind that understands that our problems, everything is natural. That we're not alone. That other sentient beings are just like us, in the sense that we all want happiness and we don't want problems. It's very important to think of not just ourselves, but also others are just like that. Everyone wants to be happy and peaceful and satisfied. So to generate that kind of equanimity, of like seeing everyone is just like that, despite our differences, everyone is the same, and everyone has the right to be happy. Everyone has the right to find happiness. 
So in the same way as myself want to be happy, have the right to be happy, so do others as well. And in that way, to, to check like what, is, what are the opportunities that I have, and what is realistic in terms of my brain and in terms of my education and everything. So if we accumulate the right kind of causes, if we cultivate the right kind of causes, well, we will achieve the corresponding result. And then, of course, there's compassion. Compassion is very important. We should think of the suffering of others. Spend some time, focus on what other people, what other, the, the problems that other people have as much as we can. So someone may wonder, well, what's the point? Why should I do that? That's pretty useless to think of the suffering of others. But actually, it expands, it widens our mind. In that, we come to see that our suffering in comparison to the suffering of so many others is insignificant. It's not as bad as it seems. So there are millions and millions of people and to think I'm just a part of it. So the suffering of all these sentient beings, of all these living beings, it's, it's terrible in comparison to what I experience. So that really helps us to be more relaxed, to feel more calm about our own problems. So compassion, when we talk about compassion, bodhicitta, it's a very, very helpful mind. That is one uh, important uh, aspect. And on top of that, to meditate is very helpful. To do a little bit of meditation on a daily basis. So there's other things you can do as part of Buddhist practice, but meditation is very much in the center. It's considered to be really important. So, of course, when we talk about single-pointed concentration, deep states of concentrations, um, very deep states and advanced states are not easy, but we can all practice a little bit of concentrations. They, they, these kind of meditations of developing concentration make our mind calmer. So, to use the breath, for instance, do breathing meditation. As you breathe in and breathe out, you count mentally one round of breath, two rounds of breath, and so forth. Now, in that moment when you just focus on the breath, nothing else appears to your mind. You're just with the breathing in the present. And so that really helps because it calms your mind down. It's a bit like when you have a vessel of muddy water. If you shake it all the time, all this mud comes up, uh, all this dirt comes up. So likewise in our mind, um, all this, these thoughts and all these worries are there. But when you stop moving this vessel, all the mud, the mud settles. And the, the water no longer moves and the mud settles. So in the same way, if you just breathe, if you just do breathing meditation, these worries, these disruptive thoughts, they're not there and your mind settles, which can be very relaxing. So if you do this on a daily basis for four or five minutes, it can be very helpful. You can also focus on an inspirational object such as the body of a Buddha. So focus on that and apply mindfulness to remain mindful of the image of the Buddha, but also introspection where you check your own mind. What's going on? Am I still focused or not? So to apply these two, mindfulness and introspection. And in that way, you train your mind in concentration. You, 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 you um, deepen your concentration, become more relaxed and more focused, which will also help you in your studies, for instance. When you study, you're more focused, you're more relaxed, and it will benefit you in that way. And so as you continue doing this on a daily basis, you familiarize yourself with concentration. You get better at it. You get better at it, and it calms you greater. So you're calmer. And in that way, you need, uh, so, so on top of that, you also need great compassion, and she spoke about it a little bit. And also what you need to uh, spend some time with is the view of interdependence or dependent arising. Mm. Any other questions on the floor? One more. One more. Yeah. Uh, Rinpoche, Tujana, uh, I'll ask my question in English. Mm, I have friends who uh, are not Tibetan and and don't know Buddhism, mm. but I know that they are having negative emotions. 
So as a friend, I would like to help them. And in my own experience, Buddhism has helped me. But I can understand that for them, without the uh, um, knowledge of Buddhism and without being in the Tibetan community, maybe Buddhism might not be the right approach. Mm, what do you think in this situation with people not Tibetan or not Buddhist, but are still suffering? Mm. Uh, <laughs> 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 Shindachi Tin お、銀地地土土、地地土土、地地地土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土土
And remember, she talked about this before. So you can uh, <coughs> kind of show this to your friends, like the, the, the disadvantages of, for instance, this kind of negative desire, afflictive desire, and anger, how they work, how they uh, are unrealistic, and so forth. And then that way, how we can train our mind in, with regard to overcoming these particular negative emotions. Also, you can talk about compassion, how compassion vastens our mind, how it widens our mind, how it expands our mind. You can talk about that. And what about feeling discouraged, feeling disheartened, feeling uh, depressed, for instance? Well, to consider the fact there's so much we can do. Anyone can think about it all the positive aspects of our life and so forth. So it's like we should become aware of our physical abilities, our mental abilities, and our verb, uh, so sorry, of our verbal abilities and our mental abilities. And here our mental ab abilities are most important to point out to another person what it is they can do in terms of wisdom. So basically, there's anything we can do. So remember, she didn't use that expression, but basically, he said the sky's the limit, right? There's really anything. There's, there's, there's there, anything we can do. Our mind can do really anything. It has got such incredible abilities, and understanding that helps us to generate great self-confidence. This is something you find also in the text, uh, the Bodhisattva Way of Life, or Bodhisattva Shayatara, which she mentioned, Junju by Shantideva, as well as in His Holiness, the Dalai Lama's talks, His Holiness's teachings. Um, li likewise, there are certain qualities we can all develop in terms of concentration and, as, as mentioned before, uh, wisdom. Now, there are certain practices we can all do, practices of mindfulness to practice in mindfulness, kind of concentration the way Rinpoche described it, that whatever situation we're in, we stay focused on what we're doing without our mind going here and there because that is the main problem when our mind gets scattered, that scattered kind of mind that is like a monkey. It, 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 our thoughts travel around the world, you can't stop them. And they totally scatter our mind, disrupt our mind. Instead. In every activity, we should be mindful, mindful, stay focused on what we're doing, and just be mindful of that. Whether we do it for a few minutes or, how, or however long we want to do it, to focus just on what we're doing. Stay calm and mindful without this scattered mind. We could do it for five minutes, we could do it for one hour, for however long we want to do it. This is highly beneficial because the more mindful we are, the more stable our mindfulness is, the better we are able to uh, generate or cultivate certain qualities. And having this kind of mindful mind, this mindful attitude or this mindful consciousness is also considered to be extremely beneficial for the body. There's been some research on that, that it's also beneficial on the body. Mm. Very beneficial to the body. Sorry. We've got one more time for yeah. one more question. My question is a bit political, more on the political side, but I read a book that was about the Buddha's life and the Buddha's aunt asked, uh, wanted to follow the teachings of the Buddha and um, but the Buddha rejected her and so I was curious about that and I wanted to ask why and it all led me to question why you never really hear about uh, Rinpoches who are female or uh, the Dalai Lamas have always been male even though nuns have existed during the Buddha's lifetime and even before the first Buddha and even though if the case is because we live in a patriarchal society and men have more influence and therefore more likely to spread the Dharma but if that is the case wouldn't that still perpetrate the view that women are still lower to men or not. Okay. Can I ask you, you mean like about the, the Buddha didn't want to ordain a certain nun? He oh. didn't want to, he refused to, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, okay, didn't want to give ordination to, at, at first being asked, he kind of refused to, is that what you mm -hmm. meant, right? Yeah. Mm. 
so your question is like, women also, shouldn't they also play a role or is it? What's the reason why they don't Pardon? play? ขาริชนิตาพิมิลาตินเดนาชิตาพูนาชิจิตาเดชิคาลอตาจิปะชิกยันตาคอนเนกิชานิตาสวะจิปะมาจากาเดอุนเซกิอ่าซังเจจุน
made very clear that whether male or female, anyone can practice the Dharma and in that way become supreme. But we need to be aware of the fact where did Buddhism spread? What was the society in which Buddhism was, was introduced? Very conservative Indian society that at the time was such that women had no right and men had all rights basically. It was, very un, it was not an equal society. And even when Buddhism went to Tibet, there was also a difference between men and women. And in that way, um, the, Buddha, the, 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 the teachings were not left on an empty meadow, right? They were not just left somewhere. No, they were introduced into society. And the customs and the, the traditions of society had to be taken into consideration. And in that way, kind of it adjusted to the certain, the certain customs, etc. However, this, His Holiness the Dalai Lama has repeatedly said that it's not necessary to have a, a male Dalai Lama. He said when the time is ripe, when there's a time when people will equally consider a woman in a similar way and, and, and the, the woman has the same impact as a man would have at a certain time, then the Dalai Lama will be a woman. His Holiness has said it on many occasions. Mm -hmm. Jacob,卡斯，我哋，加拉，加尼，加巴，卢奇，我们，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，这，
，时间的基础上，老了闲扯记不记当，点点专业的书，常常的你这个月级来说，这个嘞，你那样，偏偏当老了都送送孩子，别开心不？说，你偏偏几点了平过了，叔叔难为了平过了，浦江人民托呢，偏几几点了平用过了，所以，都是如如些固定那样的，托你去那学习，目前呢，点点跟咱这的，也可以读书的，对呢，咱这所有的家计计计清楚呀。我的呃，公办家属就是的学，推荐呢。推荐呢，是噻。有规矩吗？你想想。啊，那 OK。规矩，规矩。哈哈哈哈哈。